What's up, guys? It's Matt with Acres Away Junk Removal and Hauling. Hey, we haul it all but the mother-in-law. Story time. I guess uh, if you're watching this, it's Monday. Um, and the last video I did, you know, we talk about the good and the bad and the week that was. This week absolutely started started like shit um you want to talk about trials and tribulations business is booming right we're in virginia beach and serving hampton roads and big house clean out uh booked for about a week and a half two weeks and uh we're driving down the road and i lose all acceleration in the dump truck right First mistake was probably shouldn't have bought a damn used dump truck. Uh, about a month ago, uh, I put about eight thousand into it and got it fixed up after having it for about a year and a half. And she ran good, knocking the jobs out. I'm pretty happy, you know. Uh, riding down the road this past weekend. And, uh, yeah, it came back today. The estimate was about $9,500. All the injectors and the fuel pump and blah, 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 you know? I'm like, shit. Well, that thing is gone. We're going to go ahead and sell that for a mechanic special. And seeing how it's summertime, it's going to be a hot deal. Laugh if you want to. Uh yeah so just wanted to get on here and share some thoughts keep this going you know, give the youtube channel uh, a hard go see how it goes here and see the reaction if anybody really watches i appreciate those that came over from the aps after prison show and i appreciate those that came over from real life with tom hey it's much appreciated I can't tell y'all how much I appreciate y'all watching my videos and the story times and the updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it uh, a hard go and we're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna try to pump these videos out. We're gonna make sure we have daily updates uh, before and after and then, you know, cool finds, right? I have found some really cool shit but I've never thought to put it on video. I never thought, you know, anybody really cared to see, but I'm gonna start putting a videos together of cool finds, right? I think as I'm filming this, I'm thinking the title might be, you know, uh, defeated, should I quit junk removal? Uh, luck sucks, you know, whatever it might be, but the more I went through working today and, and kind of, I was demoralized. I was pissed off, still kind of pissed off a little bit. Uh, the damn dump truck did some good while I had it. And now we're gonna look at moving on to a dump trailer. And we're just gonna keep getting it, cashing checks and breaking necks, baby. That's all we can do. Uh, we definitely are not gonna give up we're never gonna quit. I put a lot into this business in the last two and a half, three years. Uh, you know, I was putting in work before the business was actually a business, uh, as far as behind the scenes, all the social media, all the ads, everything. You know, I didn't pay somebody to do for me. I actually sat down and tried to figure it out. And this is coming from somebody that. I didn't know about Facebook that well. I didn't give a shit and I didn't care about Instagram. I didn't really care for LinkedIn because I mean, that's really only good to network within your business and executives. And But LinkedIn actually is a very good and free source uh, that everybody in business should be on. Um, so the blood, sweat and tears we're not giving up, right? We've been knocked down 
I don't know, four or five times over the last year and a half. Uh, I don't know if I'm too thick-headed or, or stubborn or stupid to uh, just keep this train moving, but I don't really know any other way than you get, you know, bam, you get knocked down. I got no choice but to get back up, you know. There's a bigger calling out there than just to give it all up now and go back to that nine to five, get a W-2 again. Um, I can tell you that in the beginning, it was plan A and no plan B, right? I'm either doing this or I'm not doing this. And if I fail, which is not going to happen, but it seems like all the, you know, the decks are stacked against me sometimes. And that's that mental health thing, right? You get in your head, you feel depressed, you have that anxiety. You think the world's ending when it's, it's just damn junk removal, right? We're just talking about trash. We're talking about a business that is going to sustain through time. Regardless if there's a million of them in your area, it's just junk removal. It's just business. It's not life or death like in the Marine Corps, right? Or if you have served in the military, you know ain't nobody shooting at you. You ain't knocking down doors. There's no more deployments to Afghanistan, Iraq, Haiti. There, there's none of that. So we're, we're, we're literally talking about junk removal. Uh, any small business goes through its ups and downs. And we're taking our licks. We're getting back up. We're going to smile in the face of evil and just keep on going, right? Because uh, that's how we, you know, we got to go. If you're a responsible adult with bills and you got kids, you got a family, you don't really have a choice. You need to get up, wipe yourself off, be like, man, hey, and go out there and make some money because your family depends on you. Whether you're male, female, whatever, your family is dependent on you to go out there and make that money. So, yeah, this, you know, I don't know, I'll say short, I don't want it to be extra long, but uh, it just kind of plays into the good and the bad, right? Uh, the video from last week. And I'm putting it all out there. I have no shame in my game. Uh, we are still going to advertise. We're still going to do what we got to do. Rent box trucks. Make sure we wear our uniform. Make sure we wear our hats. Make sure that we're still marketing like we're running for mayor of our town. And we're going to get back on the horse. And we're going to ride off into the sunset successfully. Um, so, you know, in life... You're going to get knocked down. You got to get up. There's no bell to save you. Nobody is going to be there to help you. It's just you versus you. And you got to get up. You got to continue. And as I'm telling you all this, these are thoughts that are in my head. Like, yo, I, I can't give up. You know, what the hell am I going to do? I, I mean, I could go back to working nine to five, but, uh, that ain't no damn option for me. We're going to go ahead and make this. We're going to keep pumping out the YouTube videos. We're going to keep marketing. And like I said, we're just going to keep it moving. How you doing? You know what I mean? How you doing? Keep it moving. If y'all watch Pat McAfee on the Pat McAfee show on YouTube or ESPN or wherever he's at now. Hey, some of the stuff that I say, I kind of mimic from him. But uh, it's all about how you get it, right? So... What do I go for, right? No dump truck. I don't have a trailer yet. So we go to Enterprise. We go to U-Haul. We go to Penske. We rent box trucks, all right? I found that Enterprise is the best uh, in my area to rent box trucks, typically with a lift gate. They're cheaper than U-Haul. Their miles, you know, uh, the rate per mile is only 19 cent a mile. Uh, u haul is like 69 or 89 cent a mile so we rent box trucks like i did today tomorrow wednesday thursday whatever it takes at this point right and we're gonna get that uh we're gonna get that that money either way and we're gonna make sure our customers are extremely happy with our work and we're gonna continue to beat down every door and we are gonna climb back to the top of that mountain 
and it doesn't matter how we do it, but we're going to do it morally and ethically the way we're supposed to. And, hey, we'll be back on top here soon. That's all it is to it, right? And if you're into 757 or Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Hampton Roads area, and you need that junk removed, we haul it all but the mother-in-law. That's the saying that we, uh, you know, that's our slogan. And oh, by the way, all this shit is raw, uncut, unedited. I don't believe in doing that. I want it to be as real as possible. Come to you uh, uh, as real as it can get. Uh, that was my plan from the beginning. I'll make these videos. Uh, that and I can't edit. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Um, one day I'll figure out the editing. But until then, you get the unedited Rated R Superstar version of Anchors Away Junk Removal and Hauling, right? And we do haul it all but the mother-in-law. So if you're in the area and you want your junk removed, we're out here, we're hustling, we're taking care of customers because every customer is number one in our book and we're doing the right thing by people. It's going that extra mile to help, not just others in need, but to help customers. So, y'all go ahead, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, share, whatever you want to do. I don't beg for anything. I'm not telling y'all, hey, yeah, but hey, I do need those watch hours. Um, and I need people to watch the videos longer. So maybe you have some ideas. Maybe you know what you want to hear or what you want to see. But definitely, there's going to be some videos coming up on uh, some really cool finds or weird finds or, or, you know, I can tell you that in a year and a half, we have found a life-size uh, uh, female version, rubber type, uh, probably a little cream filled. We have found um, other kind of toys that maybe they're like 14 inches long and 8 inches thick and you're like, whoa, what's this 90-year-old doing with that? Um, there are some really cool finds, you know, a trap door in a closet with 1970s style, uh, rated R material. Uh, people are freaky and you don't know it because behind closed doors, they're one way and outside their door, they could be another way, you know, putting on the front and nobody really knows what kind of things others do behind the door. Uh, but yeah, hey, I just want to thank you guys. I wanted to do a little quick story time. I think the title of the video, uh, by the time you're seeing this, is going to be, uh, it's my sign to quit junk removal or uh, defeated in junk removal. Uh, maybe that's clickbait. Maybe it's not. I do feel defeated. But uh, you'll never see this guy ever give up because it's not what I do. We keep it moving. We keep cashing checks and breaking necks. And uh, we are going to catch y'all on the next video. I show y'all so much love for watching the video. Thank you so much. As I sit in my hot ass garage and I film while my studio is being built a little bit at a time. Uh, which is honestly just an extra bedroom that I'm making into a studio. We're going to do some uh, interviews with companies like junk box down in Vero Beach Florida we're gonna reach out to other junk removal companies like there's one called R5 hauling out of Baltimore Maryland or the Maryland area we're gonna try to reach out to Sonoma strong hauling and we are gonna bring you quality videos on a regular weekly basis until I can pump this thing up and learn how to edit and we're just gonna have fun while we're doing it. You know, I have fun in junk removal and I'm gonna have fun making videos for you guys. And that's it, right? That's all we can do. Um, let me know what y'all think. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you were interested in seeing. And, uh, you know, before I let y'all go, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll be back in a couple days with another hot video. Uh, you get it because it's hot outside. Yeah, nobody gets my jokes, right? It's all good. Um, thank you for showing love once again. 
I appreciate everybody that watches. And we're about to pump this thing up. Hope you guys smile. Have a good day. And just be positive to those around you. You never know when your time is coming that you're going to need to pick me up. So once again, thank you. I'm out of here. Love you guys. Peace.